Molishani once eh? Good evening. I hope your weekend is going well. Tonight, it's actually a Saturday night, and I know I'm starting this vlog really late. I'm sure it's probably about 8 o'clock right now. Yeah, but I had planned on filming earlier on today because we had um, planned to go on a picnic today, but our plans had to change because it actually rained today, and I don't know why I didn't check the weather beforehand. But yeah, it rained, and so instead, that's Bella in the background. <laughs> Things that kids find hilarious. Jeez. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so we ended up going to Dirt Sheep instead. And I couldn't wait to start the vlog. I was thinking about uh, giving you a haul or like just filming a whole video of all the things that I managed to score. I mean, when I say I found good stuff, I found amazing deals. I really found amazing things, some amazing things at great deals. So I couldn't wait to show you because the big ticket item is amazing. I've been actually, sa well, not necessarily saving up, but I've been on the lookout for um, natural material rug, area rug for the dining area. And initially I was saving up for a jute rug, but I found something even better and I just can't wait to show you what what it looks like so <sighs> without further ado <laughs> let me show you it's right behind me I know it's the evening I'll give you a better um, picture of it or I'll give you a better shot of it in the morning tomorrow but for now I just want you to feast your eyes on this beauty so let me begin um i wasn't looking for an area rug today i just went to browse i, I mean i was looking for stuff like deodorant um what's that let me turn you around because i'm not <laughs> i'm over here talking and oh, i need to turn you around yeah anyway i'm over here yapping away and yeah while i'm talking and showing you the rug but here's the deal I went to Dirt Cheap looking for um, deodorant, the, um, what's that, Hey Humans deodorant, because I'm almost out of it. It's a deodorant by Jada Pinkett Smith. I think she partnered with a company to create those products, and they're all under $5, and let me tell you, they are amazing. That's the first natural deodorant that I absolutely love it's the only one so far that doesn't react on my skin um i've tried native and i also tried another brand what's what's the name of that brand i know i've tried native i can't remember the other brand but both of them reacted on my skin and my skin would peel when i'd use them and it also i thought it was just me maybe my skin just wasn't tolerant of the natural um Oh, Bella, that's gross. Oh my gosh. She's watching animals defecating. Oh my gosh. Oh, pooping, rather. Yeah, that's gross. Bella, can you change that, please? Why? Why? So anyway, yeah. Um, now I'm confused. <laughs> yeah, so what was I saying? But then I gave... I had Shane tried as well and his skin also started peeling and burning. He I was basically kind of skeptical about natural deodorants until I found, I discovered Hey Humans and it's been doing amazing. I mean, I'm good to go pretty much all day and I haven't had any reactions whatsoever. It's perfectly fine. It's very, very um, gentle on your skin. And yeah, so that's what I went for initially and I did find it. But as I was actually um, leaving, I came across this rug, <laughs> which brings me to the rug again. And it was just lying there and I looked at it and I knew, I was like, okay, this rug looks like it's expensive i mean so anywho this was like lying in the hardware section of dirt cheap and i as soon as i felt it i think i looked underneath and i was like oh i used to have a wool rug like this 
but it was a lot smaller. It was like a two by three or two by five. And I messed it up because I decided to soak it in water when I was cleaning it instead of just spot cleaning it. And so it ended up being, hey, yeah, it ended up getting really, like it ended up ha getting water stains and they never came off. So I just ended up giving it away. Yeah, and so I knew this was made out of natural materials and sure enough, this is a hundred percent wool and rug and guess how much I got it for? Well, before you guess <laughs> how much I got it for, guess how much it was initially? It was, oh, it's a seven by 10 and it was $2.99 initially and I got it for, drum roll. <laughs> Sixty dollars. <laughs> Are you kidding? For a seven by ten natural area rug, sixty dollars is unheard of. If you're going to get a discount on a natural air rug, it's going to be at least one fifty or even two hundred. These rugs are extremely expensive, and I think for me, what worked perfectly for it is that it is beige, so it's fairly neutral, and it's um yeah it's fairly neutral but it's patterned at the same time at first i was kind of like okay i'm not well i do like patterns but i already have my striped rug right there in the living room which is very neutral as well but i kind of feel like this is going to work in the dining room area because i've got a lot of well i don't necessarily have a lot of cool tones in the dining area but it kind of matches like you can see it's got it's actually got the same colors in the chair and then even up here i haven't finished my painting by the way and up here like you can see those are petals but you can see that pattern over there i just feel like it's going to work and so before i just keep talking and talking and talking about how happy i am to have found this rug let me mop the floor in the dining area and then we'll put it down so you can see it in all its glory oh i'm so excited my god And so my strategy is to get, to put this in the center, like in the middle of the table, so that that way we can just roll it one side, lift the table and then roll it the other side and do the same thing. Because it's going to be so, so difficult to have to pick up the table, lift the table and move it to the side so we can put it there. So hopefully it works. I don't know if hubby's going to help. Are you going to help, baby? I don't want to show, like I said, I don't want to show you the living room until the end of summer apartment tour or have home tour because I don't want to give everything away. So, well, look, look where he is. One thing you do know is that the couch is here. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to come help me? Why not? Strong, independent woman, do it yourself. Okay, let the strong, independent woman do what she can. This is actually really, really heavy. It took me forever to put it on top of the buggy, but okay. okay. I'm Captain Marvel tonight. I'm going to do it. Oh, you you want to go there? Yeah, we're in Saturday, baby. Don't need no man. Anyway, let me try to get it done. I'll get it done. It will get done. Okay. Sounds to me like you need the help of a big strong man. Please help me get this off, baby. No! It's heavy. <laughs> it's really heavy, isn't it? How large is it? Like you carry it from the Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you have to turn it over, baby. You're turning it upside down. No, look, baby. No, I don't. Look. 
Babe, can you turn it over? Flip it over, dude. Alright. You're still being smart. <laughs> it's heavy. <laughs> Baby, come on, stop moving. Are we not going in? Yes, we're going. going. First, I'd like to stretch it. Turn it over. Turn it over. Roll it on this side. It's like way over there. Well, they can't see on the floor now, babe. They can't see on the floor. Not with that attitude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Lord. laughs> why, babe? Why? All right, here, you can see the floor now. There's the floor right there. Because it's, you know, it's got like beige and. I don't care about it. Crayons in it. Well, it is kind of a boho rug, actually. Oh, right. Yeah, it's a boho rug. But it's a muted boho rug, and I love it. At first, I was, I was a little um, uneasy about having seen all the patterns on it because I was thinking it might not work. But it looks perfect in here. All right, let's go. Let's do this. It looks so, so good. I need to turn you around. Sorry. Do you see this beauty? Oh my gosh, it's starting to feel like Christmas just came early, baby. Christmas came early this year. Thank you, baby. I, I'm good. If this is my Christmas gift, I'm I'm more than happy to just have this one Christmas gift. My Christmas wish came through, and it is extremely soft. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. My feet feel so cozy. I feel like I just want to lie down and cuddle up on this rug. I think we need to start, you know Kate, Mr. Kate, they do the rug, what's that, is it rug cuddle? Okay guys, hold on, we do not want to get copyright strike. Yeah, but anyway, the kids are trying to watch their shows and stuff, so you get to see this in the morning with better lighting. And so for now, this is the beauty. Guys, $60. $60. How much did I save? From $300, I saved $240 on this rug. Amazing! I love it. I absolutely love it. Isn't it nice and cozy? It's going to be amazing in the winter too, you yeah. guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't smell of breaking it in. Okay, guys, you don't have to stomp your feet. You can do it softly huh? okay let me give you a quick haul of all the things that I found at dirt cheap um I'm sorry my there's a shadow on my face because of my hat but my hair is a disaster a complete disaster I actually got some um, some hair we call it mesh back home i don't know if it's still called mesh but i got some hair to braid my hair as well as bella's okay that looks a lot better it's a little bit more focused and i i'm trying to get it done tonight i don't know if i'll get to it but either i'm going to get bella's done tonight 
and hopefully I can get both our hair heads done but I'm not <laughs> I'm not going to try to push to do way too much tonight because I tend to overestimate the time on my hands and I'm just doing like uh, oversized braids on her as well as on me so that's why I'm thinking I might be able to do both of our hair before the end of the night but it is getting pretty late it's already what time is it it's already 9 30 so and she needs to be sleeping so I might get I might get her I might get started with hers and then I'll do mine tomorrow morning let me turn my lamp on okay that's better now that the lamp is on, this is the lamp. Oh, I don't need to show you what the lamp looks like. I think that looks 10 times better, at least for, you know, night lights. As far as night lights are concerned. Yeah, so I will try by all means to remember how much the prices for all these things were because dirt cheap um, discounts all their products. So I can't remember everything that she said. I do have the receipt though. I'm not sure if I put it in one of the bags. But I know what everything came up to including the area rug. So for starters, I found this Josie Curls um, leave-in conditioner. And I'm definitely going to be needing this. I'm probably going to put this in both my hair and Isabella's just a little bit because our hair is dry. I mean, we I washed both of our hair today but I didn't have any styling creams to put in there or oils to put in there. So I'm going to use this. This is free from sulf sulfates, colorants, and parabens. And it's got African extracts like baobab, moringa, 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 and aloe vera. And originally it was $4.99 and it was what, 40% off? So it was about $3, but I actually think it was less. I think she told me this was $1.50 because they took off, she took off an extra. She took off an extra $1.50. I do not know what's going on out there. I'll just, I'll let their dad handle it. <laughs> to be honest. Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm just kidding. Their dad is out there, so I'll let him handle it. And next, I actually wanted to try out this Hey Humans brand. Um, this is all natural um, body wash. And what this one is the lavender vanilla. And it's made from recyclable aluminum, so it's good for the earth. The only thing in Corsicana, though, is we've tried to look for a recycling store or a store that gets recyc recyclables, but we haven't been able to find one. So this is going to end up going in the trash, unfortunately. But it's good to know that it's actually recyclable. Well, I'll try to see. I'll keep doing my research. Unfortunately, you know... When you live in a small town, you don't have too many resources to be able to keep the earth clean and to help the earth. <laughs> I sound like I'm a natural type. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. I'll be honest with you. I, As I'm getting older and I'm learning about just how simple changes that we can make can help our environment, I feel like it's a good thing to actually want to take care of your environment. So I am trying to make small changes. I'm not going to say I'm full on earth mom. I'm full on like, you know, I'm an earth mama and stuff like that. Um, not every part of my life is earth friendly. And so I'm not going to make those claims. But I am trying to take small steps to helping the earth out. So this is one of them. Let me smell this one. I'm already at four minutes. Let me hurry up, guys. Guys and gals. Family. Oh, it smells good. It smells very natural. Like, it's very earthy, actually. <laughs> yeah. And then, next, I got some tea tree oil, which I'm definitely going to need for all scalps. This was $2.49 originally, so 40% off. That's how much? That's about a um, dollar dollar sixty maybe not sure yeah so that was that and then I also got some ibuprofen ibuprofen for the kids 
This is dye free and it's by the brand Up and Up. It's a Target brand. It was $6.99 originally. I think I paid $4 for this one. Uh, I usually don't, I mean, I do get the kids Tylenol, but we ran out of our Tylenol. So just in case, I like to have like stuff like ibuprofen or Tylenol on hand in case they have headaches or stuff like that but it's very rare i just wanted to have one on hand you know in the medicine cabinet and then here's the hey humans brand another uh product this is what i was looking for i actually have what's the one that i'm wearing i think it's like a sage or bergamot i'm not sure but this one is a rose water ginger and it's under five dollars it's 4.99 and I think I only paid about a dollar fifty for this one. So this is also um, recyclable. It is made out of paper, so the packaging is great for the earth. And this is what it looks like. You just push it. You push it up. Oh, it smells so good. You push it up, and then you push it down, and it'll go back down. So very, very cute. The only thing I will say is it starts wearing and tearing. Um, after a while which is for me it's understandable if I know that at least it will uh, decompose that's fine by me I'm not too worried about it not looking so cute towards the end of its <laughs> of its um, use so yeah another one that I found was the raw sugar I've actually never tried the raw sugar deodorant I have tried their lotion and their bath wash and I think their shampoo and conditioners as well and they are amazing so I definitely want to give this a shot I hope it doesn't react like the native no offense native but you're just not for me unless maybe they've made some changes to their deodorants but yeah so that's all like that's everything that I got I think in the um, bath bath and medicine section and then over here I found <laughs> these were random I wasn't I found them randomly when I was looking in the shoe section I was lo actually looking for boots for the fall which I know I already have a lot of boots um, as we speak but I was kind of looking for heels like short heel boots with that are kind of like knee high and I couldn't find anything and so when I was leaving the shoe aisle I found these beauties they are by a new day Surprise, surprise, I love a new day um, shoes and clothing. I think their fashion is very, very beautiful. And, well, obviously it's very trendy. Like, you know, it goes, they're very trend conscious, I guess. But at the same time, the quality is so, so good. I have never worn any of my shoes out buy this brand never ever well I do take good care of my shoes but um, overall I do take good care of my shoes but I've noticed that their shoe line is one of the best when it comes to street you know street style or is it high fashion street fashion high street I don't even think this is high street it's very very <laughs> can you see my foot look at how cute that looks looks amazing of course my big foot foot is <laughs> right in your faces but hey it looks good on my big feet so I love 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 these I can't wait to wear them pretty soon hopefully hubby and I can go out on a date night and I love that the heel is chunky so it's going to be really really comfortable hey babe Hi. and then I in the clothing section I found two things for myself this is by a brand called Free Generation Los Angeles. So this brand is in Los Angeles and I found this charcoal. What is it? Charcoal? It's a charcoal heather. Um, dress. Dress sweat dress. It's a sweat dress. Should I, should I call it a sweat dress? Yeah, it's a round neck sweat dress. And it's got the peplum at the bottom and I love this I absolutely love this this was only three dollars but guess how much it was originally on the tag I didn't know how expensive this brand was so this is high-end maybe I don't know if this is a price for high street I'm trying to focus it can you see you can't see it 
Okay, okay, I'm just going to say it to you. <laughs> and hopefully you believe me. It was $155. And I, I cannot imagine a sweatshirt dress costing $155. That's just, it's mind-boggling to me, but hey, I found it for $3 at Dirt Cheap. It was on sale. It's very, very soft. It kind of feels like it's just regular sweatshirt material, so I don't know if it's just because of the brand name. It doesn't, it feels really, really soft. I'll probably, when I put it on, I'll try to give you a review about it to see if it feels any different from regular sweatshirts, but I bought it because it was $3, and I don't have a sweatshirt dress so this is really cute I think it's going to be quite short but I can wear like leggings underneath or tights and um, knee-high boots and I think that should look really pretty and then from another brand this brand is Romeo and Juliet couture so this is actually considered couture so couture brand and these sweatpants they're actually like they're lounge pants you know sweatpants with a zipper I like that detail on them and they were also three dollars and this originally was how much was this originally this was a hundred and eighteen dollars for sweatpants come on now here's the thing no offense to the designers who are designing these clothes it's just hard for me to wrap my mind around buying loungewear worth over a hundred dollars or even over fifty dollars to be honest with you, if anything, even over $10, I'm kind of like, seriously? That's why I always go thrifting for my loungewear because I just can't wrap my mind around spending so, so much on clothing that I end up wearing at home most of the time and I don't go out in it. But that's just my preference. I'm not saying this isn't anything against high-end brands. I just to kind of feel like $118 is a lot of money to be spending on pants so I'm glad that they were marked down at dirt cheap <laughs> so I'm not complaining about that so I'm pretty sure they're amazing they have to be amazing for $118 worth yeah and <laughs> moving on moving on let me not dwell Ooh, 13 minutes okay so next I found some gloves these were a dollar these are by a new day so these are for me I didn't have any gloves left because my other glo gloves had holes so I had to get rid of them and then I found another pair for Isabella I think I got three pairs I got two for myself this one is another one this is by touch screen compatible all of these gloves were a dollar and this is one size it's by a new day I love it love 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 these I actually like the sky or the baby blue color in these I think they're really cute and then I found a few baby clothes or kids clothes I found a shirt for Judah this was a dollar or 50 cents I think and then I found him some pajama pants which were about 50 cents as well and then I found something for Rachel's son little baby boy this was a dollar and it's by cloud island and i just thought it was so so cute it's a knitted um they're not foodies but they're like long onesies i guess romper and it's so so cute it's got the um, buckles at the bottom is it buckles and then it's got the buttons up top so it's so cute i can't wait to give her this in the baby shower i need to wash it first and then I also found another thing for her. This is another romper, I guess, long rompers, oversized rompers. And the, this one was a dollar as well, and it's also by Cloud Island. I think Cloud Island makes the cutest baby clothes, whether boy or girl. These just look so cute. And this is a six to nine months. And then I found this shirt for Judah Alexander. This one was actually $12. And... So it was originally $15.99 and it was in the dollar section and I was going to leave it when she said it rang up as $12 and she said, okay, you know, we can give it to you for a dollar and I said, okay, fine. <laughs> so the girl, actually the girl at the counter was, um, the cashier was bargaining with me, which I loved that she was offering things at lower prices 
because I was ready to leave it until she said that. <laughs> and then I found this shirt for Isabella in the baby section as well. And this is a size eight to nine. And this is very fall, like country fall for girls. She's never had anything like this. So I think it would be nice to get her some leggings to go with this shirt for the fall. I think she's going to look so, so cute. It's long sleeved and it's a plaid shirt. This is what, I always forget what this one is called. It's not the check plaid, it's the um, uh, it's something plaid. <laughs> and yeah, this was a dollar and I got her underwear, which I don't need to show you, but yeah. That is the entire haul from Dirt Sheep. I think I scored pretty well. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And obviously, scoring that rug just made my entire summer. The rest of the summer is going to be amazing because of that. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I really am so, so happy that I found that rug. And I was just like, okay, God, it was just the right time. Because I've really been, I've been waiting for about two years. Is it two years? Maybe a year and a half before, you know, to buy a rug because I wanted to find the right one and I wanted it to be great quality. Of course, I wanted it to be made out of natural material and I wanted it to just suit my aesthetic and this one just ticks all the boxes so thank you father thank you patience pays people so this has been a long time coming it's not like I was just impulsive like oh you know I'm just going to get whatever I need to get it came at the right time I waited for the right time and I found what I needed at the right time so yeah so anywho let me go do Isabella's hair and then We'll see where that takes us. Good morning. It's Sunday and I'm actually about to do my hair. I finished doing Isabella's yes last night, late last night, and I'll show you what it looks like. I'm pretty much doing the exact same thing with mine. I'm going to be doing some large box braids, I should say. I don't know if I should call them box braids, but they're going to be knotted because that's how I know how to do my hair. I was going to go for the whole unknotted box braid look, but it's going to take more time in order for me to accomplish that. So I'm just going to go with the regular knotted version. And I'm going to be using this Realistic, it's a Ghana brand. It's called Realistic Beauty Elements. And this was only $1.49 for one pack. I got seven packs, so I'm thinking about just, um, dividing one of these in half like I did for Bella. I did, I used six packs on her hair but I think it'll look better if I add two more braids in my own hair because my head is a lot bigger than hers. And hopefully it works out. It is 11.28. We need to be somewhere between one and two so I'm pushing for an hour 30 minutes to get this done. Hopefully it'll work out. Like I said it's 11.28 so that means I've got Okay, let me push for about an hour, and then we'll see how it goes from from there, here on out. My hair is crazy. <laughs> it's extremely crazy, and to be honest with you, I'm not going to be doing, this is not a tutorial, so I'm not going to go, go through every single, look at that, oh my gosh. <laughs> but we're going to glow up from here, that's saying glow up. <laughs> I'm going to look completely different after I'm done with my hair, hopefully. I'll look 10 times better. I'm not saying I look, well, my hair's not done, so that's why I look a little crazy. But yeah, I'm not going to be showing you how I'm doing it. I'm just going to speed up the process because I'm doing this hairstyle on myself for the very first time. So I don't want to end up spending way more time than I need to try to you know what I mean? Show you the stages and the close-ups and all that stuff. All that good stuff. But what I do have is some cinnamon buns that have been made. They're a little bit burnt, but I appreciate the effort. <laughs> and I'm just going to go ahead and put my um, Jim Rohn podcast on and we should be good to go. Did you hear what the cow said to the farmer on a cold winter morning? Thanks for the warm hand. 
Anyway, it's going to get better, so don't panic on me. Yet. Okay, my hair is finally done and we're actually supposed to be leaving. It came out pretty good, it turned out pretty good. It took me almost two hours because like I have had to stop in between to deal with my kids and stuff, so <laughs> that's why. I'm actually not wearing any makeup on my face right now. We're about to leave and I'm just going to keep it, um, keep a fresh face. I think I might put a little bit of concealer just to kind of cover up you know to give my eyebrows a bit more to tone them down a little bit and my lipstick as well because I think it looks it's out there right now you can tell that I'm not wearing any makeup on my face but I'm wearing lipstick and I did my eyebrows but this is what it looks like I put a headband in there and let me show you the rug before I close up we're actually supposed to be leaving right now so let me do this quickly um, my outfit is pretty simple it's summery still i'm wearing the shirt that i wore probably in the last vlog yeah so i'm wearing this again and i paired it with my um it's a is this a bubblegum pink it's like a light pink they're light pink um culottes culottes yes that's what i'm go i'm going to call them and i'm wearing a belt to cinch them in the waist because they are a little bit loose and i have uh What's this? What color is this? An army green tank top underneath. And then I've got this, um, what blue is this? It's a beautiful blue headband. It's, I took some of the blue out that's in my, on my shirt there. And so that's what I used as inspiration to put the headband on. And I've got my anklets. I'm just going to wear my white, they're like Converse shoes because we're going to be out in um in the yard where we're going it's a church event and a family is hosting us so we're going to be outside so i, I want it to be comfortable but yet a little bit stylish you get what i mean like mom style i'm wearing my mom jeans and stuff like that but trying to look stylish <laughs> and now in the back i promise to show you the area rug to show you um to show it to you know its glory and this is what it looks like still very very beautiful I'm actually pinching myself constantly because I can't believe I found this when I wasn't looking for it and it's funny that that's how it happens usually when you're not thinking about something is when the opportunity shows up comes up comes your way in order for you to have that thing so yeah I'm really really happy about this purchase it's timeless it's neutral it goes with almost anything even though it's patterned and that's what I love about it. It matches the chairs perfectly, although I would like to replace the chairs in the future, but for now, I'm good with this setup. I think it looks amazing. And yeah, that's that. So I'm trying by all means to finish this, uh, to quickly close out this vlog. I'm a little blur. Okay, that's better. So anywho, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I really need to go. So <laughs> I'm going to end this vlog right here and I'm going to start a new one possibly tomorrow. Right now I just feel like resting a little bit because it's kind of been a hectic weekend and I just need to take a breather, basically come home, clean up and prepare for the week so that that way I can vlog a little bit more um, in the course of this week. So. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. And we really appreciate it and it really helps out our channel. And I'm going to see you guys next time. Love you. God bless. Bye.